video I'm going to show you how to add your email signature to any of your Apple Mail accounts. So if you are looking at your email account here, you just go up to the top and you click on Mail and then you go into Preferences. And as you can see, I don't have any signatures applied yet. So what you want to do is select the account, your email account on the left hand side that you want to assign an email signature to. In my case, it's going to be uh, this one, for example, and then you just click on the plus sign down here. So you click on plus. And what my system automatically does is it says always match my default message font Helvetica 12 and uh, for the purpose of this tool that I'm going to show you in a second you have to make sure that this is unticked otherwise your signature is not going to look the way that you want it to. So you go in here if there's any text already you can just remove that that's not a problem and in signature um, you double click on that and then you can just add a name so for me I'm just going to say pick yourself UK NB so I click on that and then uh, what we're going to do in a second is create uh, the signature on a different platform and then copy it in here. So just leave that the way it is for a second, close that page. Now if you go onto your internet browser, uh, it's actually um, preferable that you use uh, Firefox instead of Google Chrome uh, or Safari. So you have to go up here to htmlsig.com and once you've arrived there you can either choose to sign up or what I recommend you do is you go to try a free signature. So here you are going to create an email signature for yourself. So you can just add your details there, so your name, your surname, your job title, email, mobile phone. You don't have to add all of it. Um, so I'm going to show you, here we go, Nadine, oops, and surname, and then marketing and design, so you can put your own job title there, and your email, mine is Nadine at pickyourself.co.uk, maybe your mobile phone number, company name, And then your website, and then office phone, fax, address, all that kind of stuff. And then you just click on create signature. Or if you want to customize it, you can go to social and add your social links. Um, so it has so many different options for you. You can just include any of those that you want to. And you can also suggest a new one at the very bottom of the page, then you can also add a disclaimer. Uh, it's not necessarily um, a requirement. Uh, apparently it says it's legally meaningless, so there's no point in having it anyway. So just make sure that you select no, and then you go to banner, uh, and make sure that you've ticked on no, because otherwise there would be a default um, uh, HTML SIG banner that will appear here. So you just make sure that that is ticked no. If you created your own banner, just make sure that it's uh, uploaded somewhere online and then put the URL to that code there. But I think you have to upgrade and pay for this service if you want a banner at the bottom of your emails. Then you go to style and you can choose different styles. So maybe you want to change the layout there. Uh, you can do that. Um, you can change the text color, the font, the links colors, um, and the social icons. You can choose different ones as well. Now I've already made mine, um, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So here on the right hand corner, actually when I go back, when you click create signature, it will show you your signature. Um, and then it will also come with instructions for each and every uh, platform uh, that you use. So in my case, uh, I'm only showing Apple Mail, that's what I need it for. So you're going to go to your signature over here and you're just going to highlight all of that and you're going to go right click and copy and then you're going to go back to your email account and you're going to go on to mail on the top left hand corner Oops. you're going to go to mail preferences you're going to go back to the account uh, email account or email signature that you've created before and then you're just going to click in the box 
Uh, make sure that this is unticked, so always match my default font. Make sure that's unticked, otherwise it's not going to work. And then you just paste in your signature here. Great. Now that is pretty much all you need to do. As you can see here, you've got little boxes. That's perfectly fine. Just leave it the way that it is. Um, if you want to apply this signature to other email accounts, you can do that. So you just take you, you take this signature and you can drag and drop it into your other email accounts. Like so. And then what you do is you just close that. And let's say I wanted to compose an email, then I can do that. Now, as you can see, it doesn't pop up automatically. What you need to do is go to signature and then select your signature. So you can see here that this is the signature that I've literally just created. And there it is with all of the images intact. None of it is um, kind of uh, stretched or pixelated. It looks exactly the way that I wanted it to look. And now I can compose perfect emails with a beautiful, classy, well-designed email signature that is going to stay intact regardless of the device it is opened on. So I hope that that was useful. Uh, let me know if, uh, if you get stuck at all. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.